seen before. Miriam must enter a formula into her graphing calculator, yay, to determine the radius needed to build spheres of a specific surface area. To determine the formula to use, Miriam sum for r in the surface area of the sphere formula. So you're provided with the formula there, and just simply ask to solve for r. What formula did she enter into her calculator to determine the radius? So what we can do is start off and rephrase this page. Um, and that is just take that given formula and solve for r. So I'm just going to recopy the formula. S equals 4 pi times r squared. So notice, um, first, um, I'll just isolate the r squared. And then I can take the square roots of both sides. So r squared is really being multiplied by 4 pi, both 4 and pi. And so since I, they're multiplied by 4 pi, then I can then do that by dividing by both the 4 and the pi to start with. So what I do to one side will do the other. So both the 4 and the pi cancel. And what that leaves us with is this. I have r squared now all by itself over here. And that looks strange, but we're going to leave it in that format because we just don't have a way of simplifying it. It's s over 4 pi. That's kind of a cleaned up version. And now to simplify for r, we're going to take the square roots of both sides. So this will leave us with r and the square root of s over 4 pi. Now you might be saying, Ms. Stone, and that's supposed to be plus or minus s over 4 pi. Um, in most cases, I would say yes. But because we're talking about the radius of a, a sphere, then the negative of that isn't useful here. So I could just say the positive square root of s over 4 pi. And so that's what you have to enter into your calculator. And um, now we're going to use that formula right here. The radius is the square root of um, s, the surface area, divided by 4 pi. And it says for a sphere to have a surface area of approximately 452.4 square inches, what would the radius of the sphere rounded to the hundreds, uh, what would be the radius of the sphere rounded to the nearest whole number? And it says use the formula to derive in part A above. So basically, the only new information I have here is that the surface area is this. So this number will get uh, replacing, or will be substituted in place of S. So I'm going to kind of swap sides here, just so I'm not writing um, where you can't see. So it's basically the square root of 452.4 over 4 pi. We're going to use our calculator to do this for us, but now keep this in mind. Um, I don't just have a single value out here, it's 4 pi. And you're going to want to protect that in a set of parentheses. Now, my particular calculator style, it's going to automatically insert parentheses here. If you've got the yellow calculators, it doesn't do that, so you don't have to worry about closing it out here. Um, but those, those of us with the, uh, the dark calculators are going to be so I'm just on my home screen. I'm going to hit second x squared to pull up that radical symbol. And I'm going to type 452.4 um, divided by, and I'm going to, everybody needs to open the set of parentheses to type in your 4 pi. Close parentheses. I'm going to need to close, uh, I'm going to have to have two parentheses side by side. One to close this guy, and this one to close this one that was open. Press enter. Mine says 6.0000. Um, and so if I round it, then that's going to be 6. I do need a unit though. So if my uh, area is in square inches, I know that my single unit here is 6 inches. The radius would be about 6 inches. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and submit that video.